in this video i will show you how you can put capacitor store chart or store voltage for that i am opening simulink and then under blank model create mode. okay this is our blank model so i'm taking a simple rc circuit then i'll show you how you can uh, set your capacitor charge value okay uh, i'm going library and then same scale foundation library usb can uh, electric power source i'm taking a simple dc voltage source okay uh, then under electrical element uh, electrical i'm taking electrical device at the top and i need a uh, capacitor and resistor so for rc circuit we need capacitor resistor and electrical apparatus and solver configuration but obviously we need our solver configuration block so this is all about our circuit so i'm connecting this between our rc circuit okay into our rc circuit and okay i'm connecting this and so this is our rc circuit uh, so we, we need to observe the voltage across the capacitor for that we need a voltage sensor and voltage sensor is under electrical sources sorry electrical sensor and voltage sensor and obviously RCS signaling converter and a scope to observe the wave shape of voltage okay so it's positive function so okay now I'm putting with the values like this is 10 volt and our resistor is 5 ohm and capacitor led 47 micro -farad. Okay, so it's all about okay. So when I run this model for 10 sec 10 second, as you can see, it should uh, we want to see the transient effect. Okay, so this is very small, and as you can see, this is under one second. Uh, so we may take a simple calculation here. Okay, here R is five ohm, and our C value is 47 microfarad. Okay, our rc is 5 into 47 microfarad okay and if we take 5 tau or 5 rc 6 tau or 5 rc is 0 0.0012 so i am copying this value from value 0 0.0012 second okay so i run this model and you will see a smooth curve so this capacitor is charging from 0 to 10 volt and we may take double time 5 tau uh, 10 tau okay now you can see here this our capacitor is charging from 0 volt to 10 volt now it's time to show you how you can set capacitor store voltage okay double click on the capacitor and go on variable and capacitor voltage uh, now beginning value or store voltage is 5 volt let's store voltage is 5 volt now click ok if there is anything changing okay now while i am running this model so as you can see here our capacitor is charging from 5 volt to 10 volt now i am deleting this dc voltage source and our capacitor previously charged is 5 volt okay now the capacitor should now the capacitor should discharge okay while i'm running this as you can see our capacitor is discharging from 5 volt to 0 volt so that's that's the way you can put your capacitor store voltage or you can say charge in this way so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss our future videos.